Let me explain this to you. There's some athletes you have to protect them from themselves because they would rather die than quit. So that answers In the a question. recent interview, Tyson became extremely irate and gave Jake Paul a severe warning for making threats. The same cannot be true about Paul who has been making public appearances with a notably huge belly in a recent video. Tyson's summer health concern appears to be behind him as he has been training consistently and currently looks in prime shape. Paul reflects on a joke Tyson made about him at the summer press conference, saying that Paul was overweight and passed his prime while he was eating freed chicken. In response, Paul says he's not obese but rather preparing for a heavyweight we fight. We are 500 pounds! I'm the strongest heavyweight in existence! No spot! Let's go, man! Let's go, man! This is it! Showdown new PR 500 Elb. No spot available. I'm the strongest heavyweight in the world. You got crowd cheers play better P instead of worse. It is all obviously an act. Paul is wearing a fat suit as a marketing gimmick. But it's unclear what his true motivations are because no one is buying that this is his true body. He's probably hiding his current muscle mass too. Confused Tyson it's unclear if he's at his best. But he looks overweight when he should be mean and lean. He was showing off his fat when I noticed him. I wondered if you had already begun training him. I know that Buster Douglas was overweight. But you're not Buster Douglas he can't even knock someone out. Nick Diaz since Nick Diaz weighs 40 pounds. It's unlikely to have much of an impact, but at least it's making waves on social media. Even during their fight at a stadium just before a Dallas Cowboys game. I don't know if he's in his prime, he's fat. He should be lean and mean, he's fat and funky. I saw him with his shirt off the other day, he's fat. I thought, did you start training already? Buster Douglas was fat, am I right? I know, but you're no Buster Douglas. He's not gonna win. He can't even knock out Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz is 40 Tyson showed unwavering focus on the fight ahead, remaining unfazed by the spectacle going on around him at 58. Mike Tyson, who has been out of the ring for 19 years, will face Paul, who is 27 years old, on November 15th. The fight has generated a lot of discussion among commentators. Some believe Paul has the ability to dominate Tyson while some highlight the importance of the veteran fighter's experience and unwavering professionalism as game changers, despite worries that Tyson's health could ruin the fight. Iron Mike seems more confident in the build-up to this highly anticipated showdown, even though Paul might be the clear favorite to defeat Tyson at a zero stadium. Tyson's confidence is growing steadily because to his rigorous training regimen and a fun conversation with Jimmy Kimmel, the late-night host, his momentum is gaining traction after a recent Jimmy Kimmel show. Liv Kimmel acknowledged that he is betting on the fabled Iron Mike and is cheering for Tyson to beat Paul while Kimmel expressed his surprise that Paul is actually the betting favorite over one of the most intimidating fighters of his era you are Mike Tyson, and he isn't Tyson amusedly responded. That's a good idea Tyson also said that he seems to have recovered from the ulcer flare-up. Day two, I'm getting ready for you. <laughs> that forced him to postpone his fight with Paul until November, even though he recently alarmed fans by admitting that walking has been difficult during his training. Tyson also showed respect for Paul's achievements in the boxing world, acknowledging that Paul appears poised to retire from the sport after their bout. An epic clash is on the horizon, with each fighter confident that victory is theirs. Since the fight's announcement, the contest between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul has attracted significant attention, combining nostalgia with a wave of worries. Fans have been talking about the battle because they are concerned about the former heavyweight champion's recent health troubles. The fight has also been criticized by critics as a glaring mismatch, showing the different phases of their careers while the troublemaker is just entering his prime. With Iron Mike's legendary background, many ardent fans are left wondering if Tyson will be unable to win this fight. Rumors about the highly anticipated fight also surfaced during our distinguished host Trey Holder's rundown of possible future events aimed at thrilling fans. One of the highlights is the intriguing sprint matchup between Tyreek Hill and Noah Lees, but for Holder, a longtime boxing enthusiast, 
The focus also shifts to the upcoming bout between Paul and Tyson this fall. He poses a thought-provoking question to our guest Doug Sanders. What are his predictions for? The result of this matchup as a fervent boxer who has witnessed Tyson unleash his formidable strength against a variety of opponents in an honest admission, Sanders, the creator of Sanders E, says he would find it hard to accept the idea that his idol would give a bad performance. He adds, you know, but being a boxing fan, I would hate to see Tyson go out on a bad bad note, in a bad note, meaning maybe Paul got the best of him with his deep understanding of event promotion from working alongside NB. A and MFL athletes, Sanders sheds light on how Paul, at 27, will attract his own audience. Sanders has accepted the battle ahead and is focusing on the positives, especially the wave of new fans that are arriving. Spotlight, Paul is excited about the Paul against Tyson fight Sanders continues. Paul's large fan base and devoted following have greatly contributed to the mainstreaming of crossover boxing. I don't mind that it's elevated and well lit, and that it's drawing in the Paul's audience, which is fantastic because it will hopefully attract new fans to the sport as a whole. But it's also like, Dag, who's one of the greatest, has to be in that. What will that look like after this Sanders reveals his inner boxing enthusiast discussing his expectations for? The much-anticipated fight that will premiere on Netflix in November Sanders is hoping for an exciting and thrilling fight, but he also wants the 58-year-old Tyson to give his opponent a few hard blows. He says, I hope it's fun, we know it's entertaining, right? They've done such an incredible job, but I would like to see Paul get hit a couple of times by Tyson. This comment resonates with the older generation, who want to protect Tyson from suffering harsh blows, but it also takes him back to his childhood and gives us a glimpse into his early years. Holder shares, oh me too man, it'll be devastating to me a little bit man, the upcoming fight between Paul and Tyson evokes a wave of nostalgia, but they also play the savvy marketing and business dynamics at play like countless fans who will be glued to their screens eagerly anticipating the match. Their only wish is for their childhood hero to deliver an impressive performance and land. I remember playing Mike Tyson punch out when we were growing up, man. You know that was the game my thumbs would be hurting you know for Sanders and Holder. A few good blows, and Tyson is already fired up since he appeared on Jimmy Kimmel Live to promote his fight with the YouTuber it's an emotional statement that he makes. Mike Tyson continued the spectacle, making the audience laugh. He said that the fight, which was postponed due to the former heavyweight champion's health issues, because of Tyson's lack of participation in the striking 30-year age disparity between the fighter's iron, community opponents believe it to be dangerous. Day 2 getting ready for you, Mike has dismissed any concerns and begun to share footage from training camp that showcased the strong strikes that made him famous. 1, 2, 3, 4, talking with seconds out analyst and former coach Teddy Atlas, who coached Tyson in his early career. Atlas warned that although it's not surprising that the 58-year-old looks good on the pads, a real fight poses a completely other set of difficulties. It's one thing to hit someone when no one is hitting. Back when you're a certain athlete with those quick twitch muscles when you're of a certain stature that the average person will never realize you could be a baseball player at 58 and get in a batting cage, According to Teddy Atlas, what do you suppose the guy's going to look like? He may have a deceptive appearance. In addition, Atlas stated, Yeah, it looks great and yeah, he can still punch what I'm saying is that when you see those videos, I would expect him to be able to do that because he was that a light of a talent regarding how the battle would go. Your reflexes will go with time, your speed will erode with time, and your timing will go out the window with time, but power power will always stay there if Tyson survives. Atlas stated that Paul's youth will take over but he will likely be hazardous throughout the first two rounds. According to Atlas, the first few minutes could be, 